Well, I found something already. And I really liked it. It is, um, her name is Pick Up Limes. And she does a lot of videos on minimalism. And I thought that I would start with minimalism because, you know, the best way to get this room in order is probably to get rid of a lot of stuff because it's full of stuff. And I think what I'm going to do is start with this bookshelf over here and start going through some of the books. Let's start with the bottom shelf, shall we? Oh, let's see here. I've got Doctor's Book of Food Remedies. You know, a lot of this stuff you can find on the internet now. So I'm going to... Literature. An Introduction to Fiction, Poetry, and Drama. I'll set that aside for my daughter, maybe. Dictionary of American Sign Language. I took ASL. Um, my daughter's planning on taking ASL. I can't remember a lot of it. I'll save that one for her. Another one of these natural medicine cures. This was part of a book I wanted to write. Um, again, all this stuff is on the internet now. I don't need it. Winston Spencer Churchill, Visions of Glory. This might be something that might be worth keeping. I'm going to put that in the maybe pile. The World's Greatest Letters. See, this is going to be hard. Oh, I'm going to put that in my maybe pile. The Winston Simplified Dictionary for Schools. You know what? Some of these are vintage books. And... It is just a dictionary. I'm sorry, it's going in the maybe pile. Oof! The chair is falling apart. My husband came in. I don't feel like sharing this with the family yet. So I have three more here. Adventures, Adventures in American Literature, the Oxford Dictionary of Quotations, and the story of America in pictures. These are going to go in the maybe. I just don't know about whether I can get rid of these. And if I have a lot of space left over at the end, I'll just keep them. Far side, I can get rid of that. I never look at those anymore. Although they are hilarious. Oh, let's see. Art portfolios inspire the kids. The Bible and the Constitution of the United States of America. Thought it'd be a nice history book for the kids. Making Your Own Living Trust. I was going to be responsible and do this, but I don't think that I ever will. I'll hire somebody. Patchwork quilting, never getting around to it. Color for your home, internet I can use. And another natural healing book. Like I said, internet has it. Herbs for health and healing. History of ideas in science education. Um... It sounds super interesting, but I'm never going to read that. Illustrated Atlas of World History. I'm going to put that in the maybe pile. The Mind. The Mind. This is probably really outdated and has really old information. Let's see what the date is on this thing. It looks like it's from the 60s or 70s, maybe. Well, where's the copyright? Anyway, old information and stuff I can find at home. Family, health, and first aid. So, the, um, what do you call it? What do you call it? The, um, my, my memory is going. Oh, you know, those people that are all ready for the end 
of the world and they're packing their um, doomsday preppers. The doomsday prepper in me would want to keep this because if, you know, I didn't have access to the internet and I needed to know how to save my family's life, this would be a handy thing to have. But if we die, we die. Minnesota vegetable gardening. I'm going to keep that one. Um, build your skills with 33 simple projects and sewing. I got this for my daughter with a little sewing machine years and years ago, intending on her learning how to sew, and it did not happen. I'm going to get rid of that. Handbook of health assessment. I'm never going to, well, never say never, but I'm probably not going to work on the floor again. Oh, hospice pharmacia invaluable tool. I'll be keeping that. Little friends in feathers. This looks cute. It's cute, but no. Um, I'm sorry if I keep looking at the wrong side of the phone here. I keep thinking that the camera is over here, but it's actually up there. Hi. All right, so what else have we got here? Three more. On this second to the last shelf, we're getting there. Far from the maddening crowd. I will probably read that someday. Well, this is an old Webster's Dictionary. I'll put that in the maybe pile with the other old book. All right, now we're getting up to the other shelves here. Oh, get this stuff out of the way. Let me save old phone boxes because they'll come in handy for organizing. So we shall see if they actually do. Well, I have no need of this little box. I should empty it out and get rid of it when I purge things other than books. Pictures of family. Aren't we cute? All right, so what do we got here? Let's see. Gentle Hikes, the North Shore of Minnesota. Definitely keeping that. Uh, Jane Eyre, one of my favorite books ever, keeping that. Nurse's Pocket Guide, don't need it. Um, Bring Back the Bluebirds, I don't know why I have that. Faith Begins at Home, well, that can go on to someone else. The ABCs of Classical Music. Um, Calm My Anxious Heart, I actually have one, I started to read this one and I just really didn't get into it. Um, but I got one from Max Lucado that I really like, am liking so far. I just started reading it, and I think I'll just keep Max Lucado one. Living a Life of Balance. Um, nah, don't need that anymore. Unbroken. Unbroken is a wonderful true story, um, but I don't need the um, hard copy of it. I have it on Kindle, and that's good enough. A Woman of Contentment, Ecclesiastes. I think I might keep that one. That's always something good to remind yourself of. Okay. The Living Bible Encyclopedias in Story and Pictures. So, I had visions of children that on their own wanted to study the Bible, and I thought these would be very good for them, but realistically... You know, I'm struggling with bigger issues than that as far as the kids go. Um, so I'm just going to get rid of those. Someone else might use them and love them, and that would be great because they are great. Um, they're really nice, but like a lot of other things, the internet has resources for this sort of thing. So I'm going to get all of those off of there so that clears up a lot of space. And I have to tell you, I'm really proud of myself for getting rid of those because I've held on to those for a long time and no one ever opens them. I have a lot of boxes from when I was a teenage girl. My dad would buy me one every year for Valentine's Day. It was really sweet. Um... Bible study on women of God. I'm going to pass that off somebody else to use. History of Christianity. 
No, nah, I'm not going to read that anymore. Uh, Life and Letters of Paul, yes. Keep that. Cross and Crown, yes, I'm keeping this. About different martyrs for the faith. Very good inspiration. Uh, Bible Atlas. Uh, you know, this could be helpful for someone else. This, we had everything but money. I really like this book. Um, Stories of the Great Depression. It really makes you think about what we've got today that people have not had and don't have makes you more grateful for the things that you have, which was one of the things that, um, what was her name again? Pickup Lines. Um, she had two videos that I watched and I liked them both. One was the Beginner's Guide to Minimalism, which had some interesting points and um, Habits of a Clean Home. And on the Habits of a Clean Home, Oh, no, no, no. It was a beginner's guide of minimalism, she said, um, to practice gratitude, which is a very biblical concept and something I always do try to do. But I can see why that would help you not, you know, buy into the consumerism thing. So, boy, we've only got two shelves left. And then that mess right there at the top. I, I guess there's that, too. Okay, let's get back to it. Almost three shelves to go with. So, Guide to the Superior Hiking Trail, definitely keeping that one. Best Sermons, I started reading this one and the first sermon I didn't really like and I skimmed some other ones and Treasury of Great Moral Stories. This is a really good book to have if you have kids visiting and you want to read them an interesting story that they've never heard before. I love this book. All right. Uh, Minnesota State Parks. Definitely keeping that one. I reference that book all the time. Along the Winding Pathway, one of the only poetry books that I enjoy. Not a big poetry person. Uh, 1,000 answers to different difficult biblical questions. I can find the answers to those things online. Someone else might really enjoy that. Screw tape letters I've read over and over again. Definitely will be reading again. Oh. Our troublesome religious questions. I'm going to probably keep that one. Our neck of the woods, exploring Minnesota's wild places. Gives me some new ideas of places to go. Um, Wycliffe Bible Commentary. I use that all the time. See, I told you these shelves are going to be harder to... This, I'll feel better if I can go through this. Because I'm sure I'll get rid of all these magazines. So, what have I got here? Oh, <laughs> I'm going to keep this. I'm going to start using this again. I can't remember what I was talking about the other day, but... I wanted to, I was like, oh, I should pull that out and start using it. But I had this when I was in nursing school that had all of my things I needed for school every single day at clinicals that I carried around with me. And, and I love this little saying on here. Loving God, may your presence be in all that I do. May you be the gentleness my patients feel as I care for their needs. May your compassion flow through me and be a balm for those frustrated, confused, and afraid. May your love dwell in my heart and bring comfort to the brokenhearted. Amen. And I think that's beautiful. And that's the kind of nurse that I want to be. Clean eating, clean eating, clean eating, clean eating. Better nutrition, party food, clean eating, all this stuff can go bye-bye. It's got dust on it. DVDs. Listening to the New Testament. I'm going to give that away because I don't like to listen to it. Six Days of Creation. Young Earth is not the issue. DVD. 
I am going to put that in with my DVDs that I don't have cases of anymore. I don't, I don't know why I just waved. <laughs> All right. Bible history. This is old. This is copyright 1898. I'm going to have to have a serious discussion with myself about old books. And then is everything relative? Examining the assumptions of relativism and the culture today. Um, I think that would be a good thing to keep around, having teenage kids that are going through high school. Portraits of Perseverance, 100 Meditations from the Book of Job. Oh, you know, I've not done a very good in-depth study on Job before. I'm going to keep that. Mere Christianity, yes. Um, I've read that a few times. Seeing God and the Bible in the Constitution of the United States. I'm going to keep that. Around the Wicked Gate. Yes, I like that. If I perish, I perish. This is about Ruth. And... I don't think I read that yet, and I do want to read that. Revival's Golden Key, uh, about witnessing to people. Um, I liked that one at one point in my life, and found it a valuable tool, but I'm not going to read it again, so Prophetic Light in This Present Darkness. I'm going to read that. I haven't read that yet either. Nuggets of Gold. I did read this one. Is this the one that I read or am I thinking of something else? No, I haven't read this one yet. I'm going to keep that. Let's Weigh the Evidence has to do with the KJV versus other versions of the Bible. Um, I read the King James Version. I've determined that that is my favorite version of the Bible to read. Um, but I'm not anti other versions of the Bible, but I did study that for a while. Um, have faith without fear. Maybe pile. Oop, that's not the maybe pile. That's a no pile. Why does not snow? I haven't read this yet, but my Sunday school teacher recommended it quite a while ago. And he's really has recommended books before that I really, really liked. And so... Uh, 101 Hymn Stories. I'm not going to keep that. It is really nice, though, to find the stories behind some of our most beloved hymns. I do like that. Moon of the Winter Bird. I've read this to my kids so many times. It's one of my favorite books to read the kids for a long period of sit down, a long story, but can be done in one sitting. Um, created to be his helpmeet. I have to read this thing just about every year to remind myself. To be the wife I'm supposed to be. Um, we shall see God. Oh, Charles Spurgeon's thoughts on heaven with Randy Alcorn's book on heaven, like merged together in um, a form of daily devotions. Wonderful book. Not by chance, learning to trust a sovereign God. I think I'll keep this one. Short History of Baptists. Um, I, I don't need to read that again. Pilgrim's Progress, wonderful. I, I, don't, I did not read that whole, that whole Short History of Baptists. Um, I think I got the gist. But yeah, Pilgrim's Progress. Keep that. Actually, Pilgrim's Progress, I don't think I'll keep, to be honest with you. Um, I think it's probably, at this point, free on Kindle, so I'll just do that. Oh, a bookmark made by my daughter, Cora. To mom, I love you. You are a very good mom, and I love you dearly. This bookmark shows my love to you back. <laughs> so cute. All right, we're getting there. What do we got here? 
Still My Daughter. This is a book that I made on Shutterfly. And I didn't do pictures. I did a poem that is a lovely poem. And I made this book for a friend of mine. And she has since passed away. Uh, evening by Evening. A wonderful daily devotional. Um, God is the friend of mine that passed away. She made this book, an A to Z description of the nature of God. So it has all the different names of God. God is God. God is good. God is governing. God is gracious. God is great. And then the verses that go along with it and definitely keeping that. Um, the Art of Marriage. This was a um, marriage weekend seminar my husband and I went to. And that has some good reminders. I will keep that. Um, we're getting to like my shelf with my favorite books on it. So I'm probably not going to get rid of hardly any of these. The Practice of Godliness. I like that one. The Challenge to Men from Job. No. Randy Alcorn, The Law of Rewards. This is a really good book. Uh, it teaches you to be responsible with the things God gave you. Five Musts of the Christian Life. No. Um, the Kneeling Christian. This one, I think. I know I read this recently. And it does not have much underlining in it. I, I know there was a few nice gold nuggets in there, but that's another thing that I have determined. Um... You can't learn about prayer and become a strong prayer, prayer warrior, by reading a book about it. You just have to do it. Uh, morning by morning, I'm not going to keep this. I, it's, it's, it's Charles Spurgeon who is really one of my favorites, but it's, when I bought it, I didn't realize it was an abridged version. It's not the whole study, so I'm going to get rid of that. A.W. Tozer, The Pursuit of God, one of my all-time favorite books, will be read again and again and again. It is underlined, and I have notes in it, and might be my favorite book. Oh, also, We Would See Jesus. I've only read this one a couple of times, but I will be reading this one a lot, too. Another of my top five Set Apart Woman, another one of my favorite books. Favorite books. Convicting, very convicting. The Life of God and the Soul of Man. Oh, Henry Skogel. Love Henry Skogel. And The High Cost of Holy Living, another convicting, convicting book. And um, you need that sometimes, conviction. So, yeah, like I said, this is getting to be my favorite book. So, let's see... This is an art project made by one of my children, and it's really interesting, isn't it? It's interesting. I need to find a place for it where it doesn't fall over, because it falls over. All right, I'm just going to point, because some of these I'm not going to take down. I know they're not going anywhere. Topical Bible, commentary on the Bible, yes, I use that. Principles of Biblical Hermeneutics, I'm going to use that still. The Man God Uses, Oswald Smith, I'm going to use that. Hans Christian Andersen and Fairy Tales, I'm going to keep that. Convictions to Live By. Did I say that already? Do I have two of those? You know what? This is the one that I thought was the gold book. I'm going to have to look through this one because I have a lot of underlining and notes in this one, but I don't know if they were positive notes. I'm getting them kind of mixed up because some of them have a lot like the same name. So, oh, watch fires to the north. This is kind of more like a teen. Oh, I'm not going to keep that. Kids aren't going to read it. The Bible handbook. Um, amazing Archaeological Discoveries. I'm going to keep that. It's old and it was given to me by that friend of mine who passed away. And these, I think, are some more old books that I have not read. Oh! <laughs> Preparing for Motherhood. This is so 
funny to read because The advice that they give women on preparing for motherhood, the guide for expectant mother, her care and training, and this is from 1923. You can imagine the interesting stuff that's in here. It, it's really a hoot. It's, I'm going to keep that. All right. Let God be true. I don't, I haven't read this one. Um, there's so much in here that I haven't read. See, this is why I need to get things in order, because I, I don't, I want to read them. International Library of Christian Knowledge. Okay, so I started pulling stuff off the top shelf, um, and as I suspected, it's not much for books so far. It's, all right, so here is what we've got left. Oof. Now we're getting to actual books. Oh, kind of. Experiencing God Bible study. Um, I put a lot of notes in there. I would kind of like to read those. I have a box of journaling, stuff that I've journaled throughout my life. And I was just thinking on my way home from work today when I was thinking about organizing things that I'm going to put all that stuff in a box. Okay, so my phone keeps stopping recording. Um, let's get through this quick. We're almost done. I printed this out. Um, different missionaries, stories that I wanted to read the kids to inspire them. And um, I did some, but lecture on personal evangelism. This is Bible college stuff. Someone else went to Bible college, not me, and I typed this because I wanted to learn it. Manuscript evidence for the Bible. That stuff is online. I don't need that. Someone else might learn something from it. The Lord's Table. Uh, biblical approach to weight management. And I'm going to keep this one. Because um, I still might want to read that, write that book someday. You never know. And that's something I probably couldn't find online. And Old Testament survey. No. No, I don't need that. All right, so that's the gist of what was on that shelf. I will stop this here, and I'm going to go through and count what I'm getting rid of and what I'm keeping. So I, I think I did okay. I think I, I think I cut by at least 50%, so I think that's pretty good. Okay, I learned a little bit about Marie Kondo today, and um, realized I had to gather all of the books that I have in the house. So there were some more, just a few more. Um, healing in the mind. Um, read about half of that, not going to finish it. My utmost for his highest. Um, Oswald Chambers. That one's alright, but not one of my favorites. Um, Max Lucado, Traveling Light, one of my favorite all-time books ever. I will be keeping that. Uh, Galatians Bible study. I just got partially through that, so I'm still working on that. Oh, this is my Kindle full of books. Won't be getting that. And this is also my utmost for his highest, which I will be getting rid of. It's just an old version. And I came up with my neighbor has a garage sale and she often sells old books. So I'm going to get rid of a lot of those old books that I didn't want to get rid of before. Um, and I put them in the maybe pile. And so what this turned out to be, I counted it up, and now with these, um, I am keeping 60, 63 and getting rid of 69. So, like I said, about 50%.